In 1968, Gore comes out with Myra Breckenridge, which lands him on the cover of Time, Newsweek, Look, and Life. You've got a writer exploring things that you just don't see in any other American writer of the period. When I start an entirely invented book like Myra, I seldom start with anything more than a sentence that has taken possession of me. In this case, I am Myra Breckenridge, whom no, no man, man will ever possess. Who was she? I could only find out if I kept on writing. It was not until I was halfway through the story that I realized she had been a male who had changed his sex. What is normal? <laughs> well, it's what everyone does. I mean, it's what the majority of society does most. Myra Breckenridge, which was in many ways considered the worst film ever made, for which I often get credit, though I had nothing to do with it. And happy in being the most extraordinary woman in the world. <laughs> That's the ball game.